Hey you guys, so today I'm here for, the, for a book haul and before you guys are like, what, another one? I know you guys have seen my previous book haul, but this is different. This is a book haul school edition. These are the books that I had to buy for the coming school year where I am a junior. I know, it's terrifying. And um, for summer reading, so I will kind of clarify which ones are for school and which ones are for summer reading. I only have to read two books this summer, um, but I'm really excited for both of them. And I have to read a lot of books over the school year, so I'm excited to show you guys what I'm going to be reading this upcoming school year and the books I've had to buy for that. And you know, well, let's just get started. So these two books are the books I have to read over the summer, and that is *The Adventures of a Huckleberry Finn* by Mark Twain and The Crucible by Arthur Miller. And if you guys saw my video, I think it was the uh, Shop Your Shelf tag I did that Anna Reads Books started. I had this in it, I'm pretty sure, because I read about three-fourths of it and then I put it down at one point and I just forgot to pick it back up but I was really really enjoying it when I was reading it so I am so excited I'm just gonna start over start fresh and just read the entire book I'm really really excited because I really really love the first three-fourths and I'm excited to see what happens in the end and I just I love this I love this book even though I haven't finished it I've read three-fourths of it and then we're reading The Crucible and I have no idea what this is about but the title just intrigues me so much that I know I'm excited for it, even though I don't know what it's about. Now we're gonna get onto the books I have to read over the school year that I bought. These are in no particular order because I have no idea what order we're reading these in. But that's up to the teacher. I'm just showing you the books in order the stack I have them. So the first book is The Scarlet Letter and I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. A lady sleeps with a married man I think and she has a baby she has his baby and then she's kind of an outcast after that and she has to wear a red letter A and it's about her and dealing with that I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong I'm so sorry I haven't read this yet but I'm really excited I don't know if you guys have seen that video but I made a huge Christmas slash birthday book haul and I hauled this in it but it was a different edition but we had to get this edition and it was really cheap so I decided to get it anyway and I'm really really excited because I've been wanting to read this book for a really long time ever since I think it was tree paper book made a review about it and she just loved it so I'm really excited to check it out and see if I enjoy it. The next book that I bought for school was As I Lay Die by William Faulkner. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I have no idea. I know that it's been made into a movie considering this is the movie tie-in edition. We had to buy that edition. I don't quite know why but it looks really really intense. Um, that is as far as I know. I have no idea what it's about. I haven't really looked at the summary or anything, but it looks cool and it looks like it'll be a quick read, but um, I think it'll be really interesting. I still have no idea what it's about, but just based on the cover, it sounds interesting. The next book is The Awakening by Kate Chopin. Chopin? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm terrible with pronouncing author names. I don't know why. I have absolutely no idea what this is about either. However, this cover intrigues me alone. I don't even need to know what it's about, but this cover is so cool. I can't even explain to you how cool this cover is. Like, you see it for yourself. You look. That is intriguing. That looks creepy and it looks mysterious and dark and eerie and oh, everything I love in a book. I have hauled this book before. It is it was in the first book haul that I ever did on my channel, but it is a book that I have to read over the school year, so I decided to haul it again and show it to you guys. And that is Walden or Life in the Woods by Henry David Thoreau. I am excited for this. I bought it on my own and I had no idea we we're gonna have to read it for school and this is the edition we needed. So I was really excited to find out that I didn't have to buy it again because I already had it. I'm pretty sure it's about his story of living in the woods and in this cabin or something like that but I could be totally wrong I just know that he did Henry David Thoreau did live in the woods at one point and he did live in a cabin so it could be very well about that or it could just be a random story I don't know I'm excited for it this next book is a classic that has been hyped up so much I am very very excited to see if I like it or not and that is one flew over the cuckoo's nest by Ken Kesey, I think you pronounce it. Still don't know what it's about. I really like this cover. 
and I'm excited to read it this year because I have heard a lot of things about this book. Everyone talks about it and everyone's like, oh, you have to read it. Some people love it, some people hate it. So I'm excited to see where I stand with that. It just looks really cool. I don't know. I'm just really excited to finally, finally read this. As you can tell, there's a recurring theme. I have no idea what most of these books are about. I just had to buy them for school, so I didn't really like look up the summary or anything. I probably should should have done that before this video. But what I'm excited to see is what books you guys have read from these and if I should read them maybe before school starts. The next book I had to buy for school still don't know anything about it and that is the tortilla curtain by tc boyle i like i seriously i have no idea what it's about but i've heard good things from people who read it last year so i am excited to see if i enjoy this um i have seen this around in bookstores and i was intrigued by it but i didn't buy it so the fact that we're reading it this year is exciting the next book i had to buy was a raisin in the sun by lorraine hansberry no idea what it's about. This is a play and I'm pretty sure it was performed on Broadway if I'm not mistaken or just in an American theater or somewhere. I just know yeah it is in Broadway in 1959 so I was right about that and it's apparently amazing and really really well done so I'm excited to read this because it looks really interesting and apparently open on Broadway. We're getting down to the last two books now so the second to last is Self-Reliance and Other Essays by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I love Ralph Waldo Emerson so I am so excited to read this. I am so pumped. I have no idea what they're about but I love Ralph Waldo Emerson so anything he writes I'm excited to read. He's just a fabulous, fabulous writer. I just love him. So enough said about that. And the last book, I actually do know something about it but that's only because of the title and that is Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave by Frederick Douglass. Obviously, this is about the life of an American slave named Frederick Douglass. Um, based on the title, I can kind of tell. And this should be really interesting. I don't read a lot of narratives like this, and so I'm excited to finally pick one up and see what it's like because I don't usually read books like that. Um, I've, I've read, I think, a couple before, but I just don't typically do it, so it's kind of stretching me out of my little closed bubble of reading and expanding it into a bigger bubble of reading. So that was my school edition book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know a lot about the books that we had to buy or that we're gonna read. I do know about a couple of them or I've heard about them. I just don't know what they're about. But I'm really excited to read all of them and if you've read any of them please let me know down below which ones were your favorites, which ones didn't you like that much, just your opinions on them. Please don't spoil anything. I really really don't like spoilers and now it's time for my random fact. My random fact for today is that I don't like tea. Um, I know that a lot of people do. I just don't like it very much. I f this has been a random fact before I think but I'm adding in the fact that I do like coffee but it has to be very very sweet. Very very sweet coffee. I don't like typical coffee and I really like coffee flavored things but the type of tea that I do like is like the super super sugary like Snapple and Lipton stuff that comes in bottles. I don't like tea, hot tea in a mug and people are surprised by that and I especially don't like green tea at all. I don't like green tea flavored things. I don't, I just, green tea and I are not friends and so people are always really really surprised by that because they think that because I read books I should be a tea person but I'm more of a hot chocolate and cappuccino girl. So that was my book haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and remember let me know down below what you think of these books but don't spoil because that's bad. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!